Hi, I'm Danny Butler. Today we're on test, and this is me riding the ball on Trial Tube. Now today, we've come up to Electric Motion UK because I'm going to be uh, picking something up and I'm in the search for the letter spotted Doug Lampkin. I've seen him on Instagram and he's been up here often. Dougie, where are you? I don't think he's here. Who said you could talk to me? I am the god of blinging and I give you a bling update. Now the hard part about buying a Vertigo is the fact that, to be honest, with an R3, everything comes with it. So I've decided to make it my own. So I've already changed the levers for some nice S3 black levers. I've already changed the wheels because these are my spare set that have come from Vertigo UK. So a big thank you to Nick and the team up there for those. I also, you know, bought them. No. And changed up and used the, uh, limited edition green rental bars. I wasn't sure if they were gonna work, but honestly, I think they look fit. Other little parts include <laughs> Busto style stretch grip, and of course, the S3 rotating bar ends, which I quite like them in this sort of gunmetal finish. Nice little accent to the bike. There's gonna be more updates coming on the Vertigo though, but for now, that's a pretty decent bling update. something but you are all that I see you got dynamite that smile's gonna be the end of me I bet you taste like chocolate can I have it for free I'm an explosion that smile's gonna be the end of me I want to say something but you are all that I see you got dynamite that smile's gonna be the end of me now welcome back to the dream build now you might be wondering to yourself what the hell is he doing in glasses Bring the tiny glasses. As you can see, our Dream Build 200 beta on its side, in the middle of what can only be described as a very serious operation. The side casing is off, and we are about to fit an extremely high quality item. This is a Hipple Racing clutch, which uh, has been very generously sent to us by George Hipple himself, who may be coming on the channel in a few weeks. But we thought it was important for you guys to really understand the difference between a factory clutch and a clutch that just sort of comes in a bike. No. Now, obviously, if you're asking, what's the difference between the clutch that you get? Is it worth doing the upgrade? Well, by the end of this, I'm sure the feel of the clutch will be a thousand times different because as you can see in my left hand or to the right on your screen, the forged standard beta basket. And in my right hand, we have the Hipple Racing Billet Basket. Now, obviously on the back, we've removed the, uh, the standard gear there, which we've now put to the back of the Hipple Racing one that I'm trying not to drop because it's covered in oil. But as you can see, the quality of each component is, um, well, the world's apart, to be honest. So no time like the present. We best start getting it back together. Gonna get rid of this one. And this one, she's going straight in. Oh yeah. Just check that out. Bronze. Bronze, it couldn't look any more factory if it tried. Now it's not just the basket that's gone all factory on us from the guys at Hippo Racing. The actual plates themselves are quite considerably more robust. As you can see, the teeth on the actual plates themselves are a lot wider and a lot thicker. 
and the metal plate that goes in between the friction plates has also stepped so that the, the teeth width is also a lot more. So as we turn it over, as you can see, there's that step there. So the teeth are actually, I don't know, maybe twice the width. Le needless to say, it's a bit of a monster. So let's get it back together. Now, I had mentioned earlier on, whilst I was doing my blinking bit, that we we're uh, picking something up today. I've been asked over and over and over again about having one of these bad boys on the channel. I've been asked by the guys from Emotion UK to come up here and check out an e-pure race. Because loads of people in the comments have asked me to have a look at one, and I'm going to try and find out if, for their quite hefty price tag, are they as good as a normal bike, or is it just an oversized osset? Now, there's a lot of hype on the internet where you see these in action on adverts where, because to be honest, Emotion UK do a fantastic job of marketing their product. They are really good at it. So what I'm going to do is, I've asked the guys here, I'm going to take it away and I'm going to test it at our compound. I'm not going to do it here at Emotion UK because as always, I'm going to give you guys a completely honest review because I think that's what it requires. A trials rider's real review about whether, is this the future? I mean, if Greta has a way, then we're all going to be on one, aren't we? No. Now this week, I thought we'd talk about something that was, uh, well, <laughs> talking. When you get to a trial, you'll often see a special language being spoken. The kind of language that's been passed down through the ages from son to father to son to father to son to daughter. Sorry, ladies. Or in our case, brother to brother. Now, when I get to a section, we've got a very special way of communicating. <laughs> Whoop, to a woof, woof. Now, Ash, just tell me, how exactly did you get through section one? Well, I started off and I come around the corner, it was more like a on the four stroke, obviously. Yeah. And then as I approached the climb, it was more like a ha! Uh, uh, oh, see, the so there was a step to a climb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 See, where I came around the corner, and what I did was, as I came around on the vertigo, it was more of a whoop, 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 And that's how I got to the top. I like that, yeah, I see the double step at the end, it was like, oh, oh. So you were, but, but I did on the overrun, it was more like a, ooh. Oh, yeah. Well, you know the stream section a bit further down? I was a bit more kind of like, ha, 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 What, what, what? <laughs> I think the big hill climb is the best one of the day. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid until I get back. How can I? Taking all the stupid with you. I was that second great. or third? Third, third, third. Come out the top like a cannon. It was like, boom, boom. Clean, clean. Full clean now. It's good conversation. Obviously, you completely got that, right? No. So, this specific bike language works on which style bike you actually ride. Like, I'm four strokes, so that bottom end is more like a So, as the rev range changes on the four stroke, obviously, and you're building from that bottom end, that it changes that a little bit more as you get a bit picky. It's like, and the body comes in motion. So as you're explaining to the rider next to you exactly the motion you want and the sound that the bike needs to give, you've got to get 
fully involved in every motion. It's a Now there's a very different kind of sound if you're a two-stroke rider. Now for a two-stroke rider, it's not as deep and there's not as much but you know, Chewbacca. With a two-stroke bike, you're a bit more You've got the customary next step, which is the from a whoop whoop to a woof woof. It's a bit of a dog sound. No. But it will get you there. And last but not least, that big hill climb next to somebody you don't know who you've just become friends with because you've both got bikes. It's this. Yes, mate. Round the corner and it's ha! Ah! Now, we're talking trials talk. I'm all about the ha! And I'm more like the Hrrr. But what do we do with this? A Maybe. Just point it out there. Not sure. We'll find out. As always, thank you for watching TrialTube. We really appreciate the support for the channel. As well. And I know this episode hasn't necessarily been about the review of the Emotion E-Pure race, but the next episode now that's what I'm talking about. I would have been able to have a lot more time on this bad boy and give you an honest review because they are being marketed as just as good as a motorcycle. And we're going to find out if that's the truth. But most importantly, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you as always. <sighs> now I actually don't need to start this bike up. This will actually just happen. Here we go. <sighs> Press some buttons. Pull back. And away she goes. So, by the way, just thought I'd add this onto uh, the last trial tube. We're doing the review right now. Don't forget to try and catch up with us at the Emotion Festival this coming weekend, where you'll be able to try out all of the emotions. It'll be emotional. And you'll get to see me, which, if you want to see me, great. If you're not bothered if I'm there or not, great. If you want to say hello, great. If you don't want to say hello, great. If you want to buy me a burger, better. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like.